Serious tension in Lagos State now. Serious tension ongoing after Lagos police tortured a 29-year-old suspect in his custody to death. You know, Nigerian government are the people who will take laws into their hands. And to a large extent, they get away with it. Nobody, you know, particularly asks them, how did this go about? A suspect, okay, is still a suspect, not proven guilty unless declared by the court. So somebody, is, somebody was taken into custody for whatever reason, and before you could say Jack Robinson, they tortured the person to death. You know, many of these people who are security agencies in our country, because there are really no true systems in place to check their, their SSs, many of them have blood in their hands. And because they feel they are security agencies, they do it, they get away with it, and they feel that um, they are free. Humanly speaking, it may look like they are free, but God is seeing everything they are doing. Or don't you understand what I'm talking about? God exactly understands what they are going through. You know, God exactly understands what they are going through, you know, and what they've done. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Lagos policemen tortured 29-year-old suspect in his custody to death. The deceased was illegally arrested on December 28, 2021 at Kota Alabara of the state after a court clash in the area. Men of the Lagos State Police Command have allegedly tortured a 29-year-old man identified as Sunday to death. Sahar reporters gathered that the deceased was illegally arrested on December the 28, 2021 at Kuta Alakpara area of the state after a court clash in the area. He was subsequently moved to a detention facility of the disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad SARS in Lagos where he was illegally tortured to death. He was my friend. He was someone I could vouch for. Though he is stubborn, he wasn't a cultist or involved in any court clash or activity at all. He's stubborn, yes, but not in court. For the fact that he wasn't involved in the incident, he had his liberty, the freedom to movement around the area, while those who committed the atrocities ran away, as source told Sahara reporters. Because he had nothing to do with it, he was free to move around. He was arrested here in Kota that day. He was drunk and was even sleeping when they took him away. So I tried all effort to see how we could rescue him, but he was transferred to SARS detention in the state command. I spoke with the IPO for his bill. We were on it when we heard that he had died. We heard he was maltreated and beaten to death at the SES detention. I asked the IPO for his cops, but he has, they were, didn't say anything. The source urged the Inspector General of Police, Lagos Premier, to investigate the death of Sunday as Lagosians cry out saying this embarrassment and ill treatment of our youth have to stop. The ones who committed the crimes and atrocities have gone. Why? Because some other persons do not share in the same values or as not, um, you know, we are moving around. You know the way they behave in Nigeria. The way they behave in Nigeria. These guys, you know, after probably there was a clash, cultists or boys have gone ahead and done some things that were wrong, they will come to the area a few days later and just begin to pick people up. Just begin to pick people up, you know. Just begin to pick everybody up, just pick and they just walk away, you know. They just pick people up and just walk away. This is exactly what happened to this young man according to what we are hearing. And it's right now causing serious tension because the guy was in custody beaten to death. They said he was, I mean, he's a stubborn guy, but he's not a cultist according to what we are hearing. He said he's stubborn. He's someone who is stubborn. You know, so there's a serious uproar in Lagos as people are asking for, you know, justice for the guy. 
and those who were involved in the torture that tortured him to death should be you know igp should identify them and they should be you know questioned and something should be done but should i tell you something nothing will be done i'm sorry i'm not i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not busting your bubbles or saying something but i just want to assure you that nothing will be done in that regard nothing will be done okay if you're thinking something will be done i just want to put it out there to you that nothing will be done okay nothing will be done you know nigerian police they do and undo and to a large extent they get away with it okay yeah they should be flexing their muscles where they should be showing true you know leadership and uh, security they don't do that they don't do that they don't go to those places they don't really they don't do that the people who committed this crime according to what we are hearing now they ran away from the area after the whole court clash and everything they left they left there's other people now that are being you know arrested and you know treated you know as though they are criminals so these are some of the things ongoing and um the Goshans are saying enough is enough you can't just come and start picking our boys. You must carry out thorough investigation and you can't just be picking people anyhow and treating everybody as if everybody's a criminal. You know, not everybody's a criminal. They may dress well, they may do, but not everybody's a criminal. So these are some of the things ongoing. Lagosians are not happy. There is a lot of tension out there and they are saying that IGP should, you know, do whatever he can to ensure that, you know, these persons who have carried out this wicked activity and has beaten someone's son to death, whoever they are, should be investigated. But let's just, let's just between you and I, like I reiterated, you will not hear anything from there. You won't get anything. You know, it's it's when you are the top or you have somebody who could potentially speak on this matter. That's when you could possibly, you know, potentially get some truth or investigation being carried out on the matter. Other than that, I can assure you that nothing particular will be done on this regard. Nothing particular will be done in this regard. OK, nothing particular. So they, 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 they will even get away with it. Unless God holds them captive, just like, you know, Abba Kiari, all that he has done and how it has catch up with him, you know. He used his own hands to put himself there. So these are some of the things going on and um, we'll be bringing you up to speed because in Nigeria, those people you think they are security personnel, some of them, they take laws into their hands. They do. They take the laws into their hands, you know, and this is why people are not happy. A lot of persons are very, very offended. You know, with how things are in this nation, you know, and, and you can't keep people putting people in that kind of pressure. You know, leave us a comment. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day for us. It's bye for now. Bye.